Hello everyone and welcome to this session. Today I am going to talk about IIM Mumbai which has released notification for admission into their various MBA programs. So before I do that, let me begin by giving you a short introduction about this great institution called IIM Mumbai. So IIM Mumbai actually is a pretty old institution. It was earlier known as NITI and NITI was established way back in 1963 with assistance from UNDP and ILO that is International Labour Organization. So it has a very powerful lineage and in the year 2023 this is a very important year for NITI Mumbai because in 2023 government of India decided to upgrade NITI Mumbai as IIM Mumbai that's where the 21st IIM of India got established so year was 2023 and today of course this is definitely one of the most coveted option for any management education aspirant now I am Mumbai offers three different MBA programs they have got a traditional or a regular MBA program this regular MBA program just like any other program will enable you to make a career in any sector any industry of your choice this can be considered as one of the flagship programs of the business school then I am Mumbai also has got MBA in sustainability management the name itself gives you a sense that this program of sustainability management is not a regular MBA program this program must be opted by only those students who want to make a career in sustainability domain so if you are interested in working for uh, for instance companies which are operating in renewable energy for instance or if you are interested in working in multinational companies which nowadays have a separate department to take care of the sustainable uh, uh, activities that the organization is uh, taking and the kind of impact that it will have on the environment generally some of the multinational companies are keeping a separate department for that so if you are having that kind of inclination then ladies and gentlemen this program is suitable for you but keep in mind if you are someone who doesn't have clarity about what they what you want to do in life if you don't have clarity about your career goals then this program is not recommended for you now the last program which is also one of the flagship programs of the institute is called MBA operations and supply chain management this program is basically designed for those who want to become operations domain specialists so if you want to get into managerial roles leadership roles but related to operations and supply chain management then this program is definitely one of the best programs that we have in India as such now now that we have understood a little bit about each of these programs let's also understand what is the eligibility criteria if you want to apply to these programs so to start with MBA an MBA sustainability management program they both have the same eligibility criteria the candidate should hold a bachelor's degree that means you should have completed your graduation or you should be in final year of your graduation if you are a general category person or OBC NC or EWS category person you need to have minimum 50 percent marks in your graduation whereas applicants who belong to SC ST or differently abled categories uh, you would require 45 percent marks in graduation I would like to again reiterate people who are going to complete their graduation in 2025 uh, they are also eligible to apply for these programs of IIM Mumbai now for these two programs any graduate can apply so it's not that only engineers are eligible everybody is eligible for these two programs of I am Mumbai now what about the last program the last program MBA in operations and supply chain management this program is not open to everybody only specific kinds of students can apply now which are those students who can apply see people who have done their engineering program who are engineers either who have completed their engineering or who are in final year of engineering they can apply for this program they need minimum 50 percent marks in engineering of course SC, ST and differently able people require minimum 45 percent marks in graduation so 
one category of students who are eligible for this program are engineers. Other than this, among the non-engineers, people who have done MSc in mathematics or people who have done MSc in statistics, they are also eligible to apply for IIM Mumbai program. People who have done dual degree, that is maths and computing, which is of minimum five years duration are also eligible for this program. Finally, people who have done BS or BTech in economics, which should again be of minimum four years of duration, they are also eligible to apply for IIM Mumbai. So keep in mind, as far as this particular program is concerned, people who have done three-year graduation, BBA, BCom, uh, BA, they are not eligible to apply for this particular program of IIM Mumbai. Now, what is the application form cost? See, people who belong to SC, ST or differently able categories, they need to pay 1000 rupees as application charges, whereas everybody else, that means general category, OBC, NC category, EWS category, they all will need to pay 2000 rupees as application cost to apply for IIM Mumbai. So please do keep in mind the cost involved while applying to IIM Mumbai MBA programs. Finally, what are the important dates that you need to be aware of? See, the application form has been made available from 4th November onwards. And more importantly, the last date to apply, this is very important. The last date to apply, as you can see on your screen, is 31st of January 2025. Why am I saying this is important? Because keep in mind, by then your CAT results would be out. And there is no hurry. You can have a look at your CAT results. And if you believe your percentile is good enough, then you can go ahead and apply. Otherwise, you can skip. So from that point of view, this is good. It's a very student-friendly way of operating. Uh, and the last date is well beyond CAT results date. So you people can have a look at your results and then make up your mind, should you apply to this college or not. The interview calls will be issued on 14th of February, 2025. And the interviews will happen tentatively in March, April 2025. The exact dates have not yet been announced, but tentatively March and April is the time when your interviews will be conducted by IIM Mumbai. Now, one question that I often get from students is, sir, if I do not purchase the application form of IIM Mumbai, if I have marked IIM Mumbai in CAD application, will it not be sufficient? No, it won't be sufficient. You have to buy application form of IIM Mumbai in order to be considered for getting an interview call. All right. So with this, I have come to the end of this session. Hope you got a good amount of idea about how IIM Mumbai application works. And if you like this content, please do subscribe to our channel and do hit the like button also and share this news with all the other friends of yours who may also be aspiring to join this great institution. Thank you everyone for watching this session.